nature flings its worst at Australians, and it's certainly happened here in the Whitsunday region, but it's bringing out the very best. All of the national disaster recovery assistance is available, and they'll get uh, the benefit of the federally supported funding. It's, uh, the formula is, uh, will be 75 per cent with a, with a, a, a disaster, a natural disaster of this scale, 75 per cent federal, 25 per cent state. Our ADF is here. A 1,300 men and women of the ADF, service men and women, are working here now. We've pre this is the largest pre-deployment of the Australian Defence Force in advance of a natural disaster in our history. Just we congratulate the strength of the local community. Australians should realise that the storm may have passed, but the work has just begun. And we were privileged to see our residents, small business people, they know they've got a power of work to do. Uh, but what I'd also say to insurance companies is the storm may have passed, but there's still obligations by insurance companies to people who have policies. And in coming weeks and days and months, all sides of politics will be vigilant to make sure that people's legitimate and bona fide claims aren't tied up in fine print and red print and legalese. And again, I just congratulate the community. These people, yes, they probably are going to be frustrated uh, uh, as days pass by and they haven't got services like power and water and uh, even telephones reconnected. But I think that everyone does recognise that it's challenging times with the weather and uh, you know the Ergon workers, the Telstra workers, uh, the SES volunteers and our emergency service personnel are doing as good a job as they can in very, very trying circumstances.